Long ago, access to water and basic hygiene weren't as much of a big deal as they are today. Both showers and bathrooms are actually a relatively modern thing. Most ancient societies limited themselves to standing in the rain or bathing in streams daily to get rid of the dust and dirt that would build up on their skin. They would use a soap-like concoction about once a week. Some, such as the Greeks and Romans, didn't even use soap. Instead, they would spread oil on their skin after bathing to bind the dirt and then scrape it off with a small instrument. Nowadays, however, a large emphasis is placed on the habit of bathing every single day, but it actually might be doing more harm than good. Consider these four examples. It's a waste of water. Every minute a shower is running is equal to about 2.5 gallons of water, and we leave the water running even when we're not using it. So when we shower every day, we're wasting enormous amounts of water unnecessarily. Baths are even worse and use twice as much water as a shower. It dries you out. It doesn't matter if we're talking about the hair or the skin. Bathing too often can dry either one out. We bathe in order to strip our skin of the natural oil it produces, to keep it from building up and causing unpleasant smells. But when we do this every day, our body can't keep up with its oil production, and our skin may get dry and almost scaly. Try not to shower in hot water, and always moisturize in order to keep this problem to a minimum. Just like your skin, your hair and nails produce natural oils, and because of that excessive washing, especially with hot water, can damage them severely. Your hair gets frizzy, and your nails start to chip and crack. Ideally, you should bathe two to three times a week. It washes away all bacteria, good and bad. When all of your bacteria is getting washed away, your immune system and other functions of your body are put at serious risk since they don't have anything to protect them. Plus, you have a higher chance of getting pimples, and no one wants those. You don't need it as much as you think you do. If you're an athlete or your work requires strenuous physical activity, then it's probably best to shower more often, but always pay attention to the temperature of the water. If not, just pay attention to certain areas such as beneath your arms and your groin area. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.